So on Wednesday of this week, we saw the next generation Starship fly. It was serial number 15. This was the first Starship to actually successfully land their prototype. Uh, so what I've done here is created a video with uh, a line T0 so we can compare all the flights together. Uh, in the upper left, you see serial number 8. Uh, mid left, you see serial number 9. Lower left, serial number 10. And mid bottom, serial number 11. The large upper right panel is serial number 15. That launched on f Cinco de Mayo 5-5 five, five of 2021. So uh, there's a couple differences with serial number 15. There are apparently hundreds of improvements, uh, but you can see more heat tiles. Uh, there's also a camera on the flap, so that gives us an interesting situation. And um, there are many improvements. So uh, let's take a look at these all fly. You'll see them all take off. Great shots of them lifting off the pad. Serial number 11 took off in dense fog, so not much to see there. Serial number 15, you'll see, has some choppy footage later on. I love the serial number 10 uh, shaky video from all the uh, very, very loud uh, rocket thrust and great views that were on serial number 10 there on the lower left. On serial number 11 here, you can see the three Raptor engines. These are methane-powered Raptors. There's a little bit of flame there, you can see. Um, on serial number 15 here, you can see a downward-facing camera on those flaps. Um, you will see these engines as they cycle from a rich to a lean mixture on the motors. You will see them cycle from darker to lighter. And on the serial number 15, I think you'll see it here. It's pretty clear, then it gets a little darker. Uh, and that gets pretty obvious on some of those prototypes. But this is the camera on the flap on serial number 15 in the upper right. So they're all under three engine power. Um, as they proceed, uh, they will switch to uh, two engines. The serial numbers 8 and 9 switched at a minute and 41 seconds, switched to two engines. And serial numbers 10 and 11 switched to it at about 2 minutes 11, 2 minutes 15. I think that's the profile for serial number 15, although we do get some glitchy video, so we have some pausing and some glitching. But you can see they're all under three engine power. Uh, serials numbers eight and nine, you will see them cut their engine short in just a couple of seconds here. They will shut off one engine and go down to two engines there, you can see, and there's a little bit of flame there as the residual fuel gets burned up. So now 8 and 9 are under 2 engine power. There's a little bit of fire there on serial number 8. Serial numbers 10, 11, and 15 are still under 3 engine power for another around about 10 seconds. And you can see that serial number 15 has already glitched and frozen the video, uh, but it will come back for there. There you see T, uh, serial number 11 goes down to 2 engines. Serial number 10 down to 2 engines. From now on with serial number 15, the video is kind of intermittent and glitchy. And there you can see the camera on the flap, but it again freezes for us. As it proceeds, uh, we lose uh, a second engine at around three minutes and 15 seconds for all the prototypes. Hard to tell with serial number 15, but I think they said that it shut down at around 315. So that should be coming up in about 30 seconds. So when they are ascending they are not moving very fast so they went up to about 10 kilometers serial number eight i believe went to 12.5 kilometers but the average speed is about 90 miles per hour so not fast enough for the aerodynamic surfaces to be in effect basically you have gimbling or movement of these engines and that creates the balance so here we are about to see shutdown of one more engine now they're all going down to one engine power so these are Raptor engines, either methane and liquid oxygen powered uh, rocket engines. So the Starship contains two tanks. There's a methane tank and a liquid oxygen tank. And then they mix in and combust in that rocket engine. So now um, as they come to their final height, they will shut down their engines somewhere between 4 minutes 20 and 4 minutes 40, depending on the prototype. Serial number 8 lasts the longest and kind of, I think, it, because it was the higher altitude flight, had a longer, slightly longer uh, flight and a, a longer time with the one engine. 
coming up in about 30 more seconds, 20 more seconds. And you can see serial number 15 is, again, very glitchy. Uh, but there you can see it shut off. And the other ones take a little bit longer to shut off. Serial number 15 should be coming out there. You can see serial number 10 belly going back to the belly flop. So it goes back to horizontal and tries to now belly flop down using those aerodynamic surfaces. Serial number 9 now shuts off and does a belly flop. Serial number 8 will be next. So this is the serial number 15. You can see the camera on the flap. And as the flap moves, you can see how the camera moves in relationship to the ship. And serial number eight there is starting its belly flop. As they fall, you can see some venting of the either liquid oxygen or liquid methane coming out, and that's that smoke coming off the vehicle. As they get lower, you will start to see some plumes coming from those aft flaps, and that is the chilling of the motors, chilling of the engines before they relight. And you can see it really good right there on serial number 15. And again, it unfortunately gets very glitchy. But with serial number 15, you can see um, as it's coming down through the clouds, you can see the sense of speed as the clouds are shooting forward, uh, shooting upward there on serial number 15. And you can see some venting. And we're about to see, we're about to see serial number 11 light its Raptor engines. We're about to see number 15 light its engines. There is a light of two engines on serial number 15, and here it is, and you can see them gimbling around to try to balance the ship. Number 11 lit up the engines, and right then it exploded. Serial number 15 comes down and has a good landing there, and you'll see that as the dust clears, serial number 15 is still standing. Serial number 10 lit three, then it shut off one, shut off a second, and it comes down under one engine power. Serial number 10 in the lower left, will come down and it actually will land. It's a bit of a hard landing. And unfortunately, after it landed, about eight minutes later, it did explode. Serial number nine only was able to light one engine. Very hard, very angular hit and rapid unscheduled disassembly. Serial number eight now lit its engines, but it lit two of them, but started to consume. You can see this green flame coming out. This means that the engine is being consumed and vertical but very hard, rapid, unscheduled disassembly. So serial number 15 here on Cinco de Mayo was the first one that uh, had a successful landing. If you look closely, you can see that the landing legs are still intact. There is a small fire there. It did burn for three to four minutes, and then the uh, fire suppression system was able to get that out. So congratulations to SpaceX on a successful landing. This is the fifth full-size proto Starship prototype. And the next one up will be serial number 16. And so I look forward to seeing that. Hopefully they have uh, more continued success and keep going for uh, higher and higher flights. They've also got the booster that goes underneath this Starship, which is about 50% larger. This is about a 50 meter vehicle. There is a 70 meter booster that will uh, be put underneath that to actually accomplish the orbital flight. Uh, scheduled for about July this year, which sounds a little bit optimistic, but I, I hope they can accomplish it. So that's the summary, and thanks for watching.